Good afternoon, I hope you're all keeping well and making the best of the present situation. Uh, today's message from school is all about community. So I think it's fair to say that community and our engagement in the community has never been as more important. And today I'd like to reflect about what you can do. First of all, in your homes, you're spending a lot of time there. Can you help your mums and dads out by doing chores, engaging, making family meals, helping out, doing jobs around the house? It really will be appreciated. Everyone will be feeling a little bit stressed, so as much help as you can give would be good. I would also suggest making calls to relatives who are in vulnerable groups, for example, grandparents. I know a phone call to a grandparent or an elderly person could really make their day and wouldn't take much time out of your life. So think about that. Moving on to your neighbourhood and a broader community, is it worth considering if you can help anyone in your local vicinity? Even if it's pushing a note through someone's door just to say, can I help? They can only say no. And finally, our school community. We may not be in school, but you're part of our school community and we want you to be fully engaged. Get involved by following Twitter, responding to the messages that are going out, and you will continue to be part of our community. Don't get isolated. If we now move on to what's happening with your schooling, I think it's really important to remember that this situation is not a sprint. We're in this for at least eight weeks, nine weeks, who knows? You need to be able to pace yourself. And some tips to help you achieve this is to look at the routines that you need to establish. First of all, make sure you've got a sensible place to work that you won't get distracted and you can be really focused. And get dressed. I don't think it's a good idea to be doing your schoolwork in your pyjamas at one o'clock in the afternoon. So make sure you're following a good routine about going to your workspace and dressing appropriately. The next thing to think about we have five lessons in a day, each one hour, but within that hour lesson, we, teachers will chunk the information down. 15, 20 minute sessions is a good time frame to start when planning your workout. And then also finally, set some ground rules. Discuss with your parents about how you best work. For example, not having a phone near you could be a really good idea, but perhaps listening to music is something that you want to do to help you focus. You need to discuss this with your parents in order to get the best learning environment. And when you've done some work, share it with your parents. They're really interested in what you're doing. It's a good thing to talk about and it'll help reinforce your learning. And remember, reading is part of your school curriculum. So check out the library and if you've got any books around, see if there's anything that you fancy reading. And then finally, if you've done some work, give the teachers some feedback. We're here online waiting to hear that feedback. Um, now, we've got some shout outs from the English department today. So we've got Nathan Brown, whose work has been identified, has been particularly interesting. Um, something about aliens who are gonna help out the local football team in Stoke, and they need all the help they can. Um, we've then got Isham Ahmed, who's done some very interesting work on a, an essay. Um, something about plot twist and school being cancelled. Don't know where he got the idea from that. Uh, next one, Will Lewis, who's been writing about storms. Hopefully he's not been causing any storms at home. Um, moving on to some science work with Charlie Hartill designing some perfect pets for the future. To finish off, just to reinforce why homeschool is important and the work that you're doing. Year 11 and year 13 will be getting their grades based on teacher assessments. Those teacher assessments will be based on the work that they've done over the past five or six years while they've been in school. You don't know what will happen in the future. The work you're doing now will add to this tremendous uh, bank of work that we've got already and will help you in the future. A final message, keep in touch with school, maintain the social distancing rules, particularly when you're going outside, and remember, we're all in this together. So I wish you and your families well, and I'll speak to you again in the future, no doubt.